Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about iOS 18 beta 2. Now this beta has been out for about three to four days as of the filming of this video. And there's a few additional changes that I want to talk about in today's video that I think are worth a mention. And I also want to talk about a few bugs within the latest iOS 18 beta 2. Now before we talk about iOS 18 beta 2, I want to talk about the AirPods because Apple has also released, yesterday they released an update for AirPods, a new firmware update 6A. 326. Now this one is available for the AirPods Pro first generation, the AirPods Max, and the AirPods second and third generation. Now they also released an update for the AirPods Pro second generation and Beats product, which is the new firmware 6F8. And this one is available for the Beats Fit Pro, the Power Beats Pro, and the AirPods Pro second generation USB-C and Lightning. Apple mentions that this firmware update will address a security flaw within Bluetooth, so an attacker within Bluetooth range can actually gain access to your headphones. So make sure that your AirPods are up to date and the way you want to update your AirPods is make sure that they're paired to your iPhone and make sure that they're sitting next to your iPhone connected to a power source for about 20 to 30 minutes and your AirPods or Beats will update automatically in the background. But now let's go ahead and talk about iOS 18 beta 2. As I mentioned, there's a few things here worth mentioning. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing I want to talk about is a brand new widget for the wallet application of iPhone. So if we go into edit mode here and go to add a new widget, we now have a new connected card widget for the Apple Wallet application. So there's the wallet extension. If we scroll all the way to the right, we have right there it is, connected cards. So we now have a new widget, which is not fully functional within the second beta, but it is a new widget that hopefully will become available here within the next couple of betas. But yeah, Apple has added the new widget, connected cards, but it is not fully functional, but it is here. Now, something that Apple did add within iOS 18 beta 2 was RCS support for the iPhone. Phone. Now, initially, when Apple launched this feature on the second beta, it wasn't fully functional. Now, if we go into apps, if we head on over into the messages extension and we enable the feature, carriers here in the US are now rolling out the feature on iPhones. So right here, RCS obviously allows you to send better video quality, better picture quality. You can get things like things you get with an iMessage, which is the type in indicators, the tap back reactions, and so much more. It is a better user experience when you send a message to an Android user using RCS and it is now rolling out here within the US and US carriers are now starting to enable this on iPhone as you can see right there we have the messaging plus RCS label right there on the text field so yeah RCS now rolling out for iPhone something I thought I never see now something else that Apple has added within the second beta is for the password application you can now type in entries for username and passwords and add passwords manually lead to the password application on iPhone. So if we log into the application, we have this plus icon here. And once you tap the plus icon, you'll be able to manually enter any password information and save it directly to the password application on your device. So this is something that's new within iOS 18 beta 2 that I thought was worth a mention. Now something else I've noticed, which is a minor, but it is a change here. If we go into settings and we go into our apps, if you're in dark mode, all of Apple apps now have a dark mode icon right there within the settings for each application. As you can see right there, we have all the dark variant options for all the icons or Apple icons. As you can see right there, even music has the dark icon there within iOS 18 beta 2. Something minor again, but something that I wanted to mention. Now, if we go into edit mode within iOS 18 beta 2, there's also something happening here. Now, this could be a bug. I think it is a bug, but if we go into the tinted option and we select the tinted option right here, you see there, right there, the icon badge has changed color. Could this be a feature that could be coming in the future where you can also change the badge color of the icons on your iPhone? Who knows? It looks like it either could be a bug or an actual feature that Apple is working on. But yeah, the actual badges change to a dark mode icon color, as you can see right there. Now, once you turn back, it remains, as you can see right there, until you launch the application and close it again. But yeah, something interesting that I've noticed 
within the second beta. Now, one thing that many users are right now struggling with on the second beta is the fact that the new tinted option actually turns your icons into all these white icons for some reason. Obviously, this is a bug, and Apple will most likely address this. So if we go into edit mode and we try to change our icons around, they could get all kind of messed up when you try to play around with the colors and you go back to the home screen. It doesn't happen all the time, but if it does, the fix for that is going into edit mode, go ahead and go into customize and choose large icon, and this should fix the actual issue. Take a look at the actual dark mode and the actual dark labels there in second beta. I love that so much. I hope Apple brings that to the iPhone. But again, if you're having this issue where you have these white icons on your home screen, creating larger icons on the home screen there or selecting the large icon option within customize should address this situation for the meantime. Now, obviously the next beta will most likely become available in the next couple of weeks. Stay tuned here to the channel. This is just a quick follow-up of some of the latest new features and changes. And obviously I'll continue digging around the software. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.